reciprocal and rational functions. Here the question for you is, are all reciprocal functions rational functions? I'm Anil Kumar and I found this question very difficult to answer, mainly because in the textbook, those who are doing MHF for you, reciprocal functions is a is kind of the beginning of rational functions. So students get an idea that all the reciprocal functions are rational functions. So let's have a look at it and try to understand. So the question here is, are all reciprocal functions rational functions? Well, let's get back to the definition of rational functions. We say R of X is a rational function, which is quotient of polynomials, let's say P of X, over q of x where denominator q of x is not equal to 0. This is what a rational function is. Now what is a reciprocal function? Reciprocal function, let me write that also. Reciprocal function is, let us say if we have a function f of x, right, then the reciprocal will be 1 over f of x, right. So that is how they are related, right? So reciprocal function of f of x is 1 over f of x. So that is what the reciprocal function is. So let's take some examples, correct? So if I have function, let us say, let me write here 2x minus 1. Let me give heading here as a function f of x. And here I will write g of x, which is equals to 1 over f of x, right? So in that case, 1 over f of x will be 1 over 2x minus 1. Now this is clearly a reciprocal function and now we will write here whether it is a rational function or not. So we will say rational, yes or no. Okay, so what we get here is it is indeed a rational function. Now how about uh, square root of x? So if square root of x is my function, I'll write 1 over square root of x. Now is that a rational function? Square root of x is not a polynomial, do you understand? Square root of x is not a polynomial. And therefore this is not a rational function. Similarly, I could have 1 plus 2 to the power of x. And then the reciprocal will be 1 over 1 plus 2 to the power of x which is not a rational function, right? So the answer is no for these two. So sometimes true. So this statement you can say is sometimes true. Not always. So that is very important to understand. We know in a rational function both p of x and q of x should be polynomials. understand that part okay so we're talking about reciprocal function and the whole idea of that chapter being the very first chapter under rational functions is to to explain you how to sketch graphs from a reciprocal of a polynomial function and move forward kind of right uh, but don't get the impression that all reciprocal functions are rational function that is very important to appreciate I hope you understand that. Thank you and all the best.